Buddy Holly exposed, Rock's hidden scandals revealed. Beyond the music, beyond the legend, there was a man named Buddy Holly, whose life was filled with more twists, turns and tender moments than any song could capture. Join us as we unveil the hidden chapters of Buddy Holly's life in today's Freaky Facts, History's Oddities episode. Welcome back to Freaky Facts, History's Oddities. Today, we're diving deep into the life of Buddy Holly. Known for his glasses and guitar, Holly's story is one of musical innovation, unexpected quirks, and heartfelt romances. Let's embark on a journey through the life of a man who changed rock and roll forever. The Early Years Charles Hardin Holly, known as Buddy Holly, was born on September 7, 1936, in Lubbock, Texas, during the Great Depression. The youngest of four children in a family of devout Baptists, gospel music was a significant part of his life from an early age. Holly's family was musically inclined, with all members except his father able to play an instrument or sing. This musical environment nurtured his talents as he learned to play guitar and sing alongside his siblings. Holly's early life was marked by several moves within Lubbock due to his father's changing jobs, reflecting the economic hardships of the time. Despite these challenges, music remained a constant in Holly's life. His elder brothers performed in local talent shows, and at one point, Buddy joined them on violin, albeit humorously, as his brother greased the bow to prevent it from making a sound. This early experience demonstrated the family's playful approach to music and performance. By the age of 11, Holly's interest shifted from piano, which he had briefly taken lessons for, to guitar. This change was spurred by his desire to emulate his brother's guitar, leading his parents to purchase an acoustic guitar from a pawn shop for him. Holly's self-taught skills on the guitar blossomed, influenced by a range of musicians, including Hank Williams, Jimmy Rogers, and the Carter family. His friendship with Bob Montgomery at Roscoe Wilson Elementary further fueled his musical pursuits as they bonded over a shared love for music and performed together practicing songs by the Leuven brothers and Johnny and Jack. Holly's exposure to African-American rhythm and blues through the radio was transformative, shaping his musical style and aspirations. Influenced by artists like Hank Ballard and the Midnighters, Bo Diddley, Mickey and Sylvia, Holly integrated guitar riffs and rhythmic ideas from rhythm and blues into his work, which became a hallmark of his music. By 16, he was a seasoned performer in country music, bluegrass and gospel, but quickly became a devoted follower of rhythm and blues and rock and roll after hearing Elvis Presley. This pivot to rock and roll marked a defining moment in Holly's early career, culminating in his purchase of a Fender Stratocaster electric guitar, which became integral to his signature sound. In summary, Buddy Holly's early years were characterized by a deep immersion in music, supported by his family's musical background and his community in Lubbock, Texas. His early influences spanned gospel, country, rhythm and blues, setting the stage for his groundbreaking contributions to rock and roll. This chapter should highlight Holly's transition from a musically curious child to a pioneering musician, emphasizing the role of his family his early musical partnerships, and his relentless drive to pursue a truly his own sound. Musical Prodigy This chapter delves into Buddy Holly's emergence as a musical prodigy, highlighting his early musical influences, multi-instrumentalist development, and pioneering contributions to the rock and roll genre. Holly's musical journey was marked by rapid growth, experimentation, and a distinctive blend of genres that would define his sound. From a young age, Holly was deeply influenced by a mix of gospel music, country music, and rhythm and blues. These genres shaped his musical taste and approach to songwriting and performance. Holly learned to play the guitar and sing alongside his siblings, showing a natural aptitude for music. His transition from piano lessons to the guitar at age 11 marked the beginning of his journey as a multi-instrumentalist. 
Holly's mastery of the guitar, coupled with his exposure to various musical styles, facilitated his development as a musician. After appearing on local television for the first time in 1952, Holly formed the group Buddy and Bob with his friend Bob Montgomery in 1953. This duo initially focused on country and western music, but gradually incorporated rock and roll elements into their repertoire. A pivotal moment in Holly's career was opening for Elvis Presley in 1955, inspiring him to embrace rock and roll fully. His music and performances reflected this shift, leading to significant changes in his band's style and composition. Holly's talent and unique sound caught the attention of Nashville scout Eddie Crandall, leading to a contract with Decca Records. However, his collaboration with producer Norman Petty and the subsequent recording of That'll Be The Day marked the beginning of Holly's success in the music industry. The song's release under the band name The Crickets catapulted Holly to fame, followed by other major hits like Peggy Sue. Buddy Holly's blend of country rhythm and blues and rock and roll highlighted his musical versatility and contributed to the evolution of rock music. His use of the traditional rock and roll lineup of two guitars, bass and drums set a standard for future rock bands. Holly's influence extended to numerous artists, including Bob Dylan, the Beatles and the Rolling Stones, underscoring his lasting impact on the music world. Harmonizing Innovations, the genesis of the Crickets. We begin with their inception in Lubbock, Texas by Buddy Holly and J.I. Allison, with bassist Joe B. Malden joining shortly after that. The Crickets were a pioneering rock and roll band, notable for their self-sufficiency in writing, playing, producing and recording their material, a rarity at the time. They were among the first to use overdubbing and multi-track recording, techniques that would later become standard in music production. Their formation marked the beginning of a new era in rock music, making rock and roll accessible and inspiring countless musicians worldwide, including the Beatles, whose name was influenced by the Crickets. The band's initial success came with the release of That'll Be The Day in June 1957, leading to a series of hits that established them as the leading rock and roll band. In late 1958, Buddy Holly moved to New York to delve into the music business, causing a shift in the band's lineup. Allison and Malden continued as the Crickets, welcoming Sonny Curtis as the lead guitarist and vocalist. This lineup change did not hinder their creativity or success. They continued to produce classics like I Fought the Law and More Than I Can Say. After Holly's tragic death in 1959, the Crickets continued to perform and record music undergoing several lineup changes, but always keeping the spirit of rock and roll alive. They backed up other artists, including the Everly Brothers, and produced hits that reached the UK charts, such as Don't Ever Change. The Cricket's influence extended beyond their music, contributing to the evolution of rock and influencing generations of musicians. Members like J.I. Allison and Joe B. Maldin were recognized for their contributions to music, both as performers and innovators. The Cricket's legacy is a testament to their impact on rock and roll. They were inducted into the Musicians Hall of Fame and Museum in 2008 and the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 2012, cementing their place in music history. Their influence is felt in the works of countless artists who cite the Cricket's story as one of innovation, resilience and the enduring power of music. The Invisible Performance One particularly telling anecdote from Holly's childhood involves a talent show in nearby County Line. At age five, Buddy participated alongside his brothers, showcasing an early flair for performance that would one day captivate audiences worldwide. His performance of Down the River of Memories won him $5 and hinted at the charismatic stage presence he would develop as one of rock and roll's pioneering figures. This early experience reflects a youthful dalliance with music and a deeper, innate connection to performance and storytelling through song, a theme that would define his career. 
Holly's early life was characterized by a blend of influences and experiences that shaped his musical trajectory. His family, particularly his mother and siblings, played a crucial role in his musical education, encouraging his talents from a young age. Despite his father's absence of musical inclination, the household was one where music was cherished and pursued with vigor. Holly's transition from piano to guitar, driven by self-taught efforts and a deep-seated passion for music, underscores the independent spirit and dedication that would mark his contributions to rock and roll. During his school years, his duo with Bob Montgomery further solidified his path toward musical innovation, blending country roots with what would soon be recognized as the rock and roll genre. This chapter highlights the origins of Buddy Holly's musical genius, tracing back to a childhood filled with creativity, support, and early signs of the legendary performer he was to become. The invisible performance of his youth be it in a talent show or the informal jam sessions with Montgomery, served as the foundation upon which Holly built a career that forever changed the music landscape. Through these stories, we gain insight into the depth of Holly's artistry and indelible mark on music and culture. Adventurous Spirit Though predominantly celebrated for his groundbreaking contributions to rock and roll, Buddy Holly's life was rich with activities showcasing his love for the outdoors and the arts. An autobiographical essay from his high school years reveals Holly as someone who cherished a variety of hobbies, including hunting, fishing, leatherwork, reading, painting and playing Western music. This eclectic range of interests suggests Holly's appreciation for nature's tranquility and the personal satisfaction derived from creating with his hands, whether through music or other art forms. Holly's inclination towards outdoor activities such as hunting and fishing reflects a common pastime in his native Texas, offering moments of peace and a connection to the environment. Meanwhile, his engagement in leatherwork and painting indicates a creative spirit not limited to musical expression, exploring other mediums to convey his artistic vision. Including reading as a hobby also speaks to Holly's intellectual curiosity, a trait that likely informed his lyrical content and the stories he told through his songs. Moreover, Holly's journey into rock and roll was marked by a significant moment of inspiration during an Elvis Presley concert in Lubbock in early 1955. The charisma and the new, exciting sound of Elvis profoundly influenced Holly, cementing his transition from country music to the rock genre. This pivotal experience underlines Holly's adventurous spirit in music as he was always seeking to evolve and incorporate diverse influences into his sound, moving towards the synthesis of musical styles that defined early rock and roll. Iconic Glasses. The story of Buddy Holly's signature eyewear is a fascinating journey from necessity to iconic status. Buddy Holly, born Charles Hardin Holly, struggled with severe nearsightedness having a vision of 2800 in both eyes, making it difficult for him to see even the top line of an eye chart. Initially, Holly was apprehensive about wearing glasses, fearing they would hinder his rock and roll image. However, a pivotal moment during a performance, when he dropped his guitar pick and had to search for it on stage, convinced him of the necessity of wearing glasses during performances. His optometrist facilitated Holly's transition to wearing glasses, Dr. J. Davis Armistead. Despite Holly's initial desire for inconspicuous frames, Dr. Armistead found the perfect pair of thick, black-framed glasses during a vacation in Mexico City. These glasses helped Holly see and became a defining part of his look, contributing to a geek-chic style that made it possible to be both a nerd and a rock star. The glasses Holly wore were lost in the snow following the tragic plane crash that took his life in 1959 and were not found until 1980 by Sheriff Jerry Allen in a courthouse basement. After a legal battle, the glasses were granted to Holly's widow, Maria Elena Holly Diaz, in 1981. 
She later sold them to the Buddy Holly Center in Lubbock, Texas in 1998, where they are displayed today. Buddy Holly's choice to embrace his need for glasses and turn it into a fashion statement profoundly impacted the perception of eyewear in popular culture, influencing other musicians like John Lennon and Elton John. Holly's embrace of his unique look serves as a reminder that individuality and authenticity can become one's greatest asset, even in the face of potential stigma. Echo Elaine Maguire during the recent Buddy Holly Symposium, enthusiasts worldwide gathered to celebrate the artist whose music left an indelible mark on legendary musicians. However, few know that Holly's muse for his heart-stirring melodies was his first love, Echo Maguire, rather than his music itself. News Channel 11 delved into the touching narrative of Buddy Holly and his Echo, Echo Maguire reminisces about her relationship with Holly, which started in high school and spanned over five and a half years, as a period filled with enchantment. He was a true gentleman and had a serious demeanor, especially when it came to his career, for which he possessed great dedication, Echo shares. Yet, it was not Holly's unwavering commitment to his burgeoning music career that led to their separation. After two years of dating during her college years, Echo decided to end their relationship. Our paths were diverging, and it wasn't due to any decrease in love, she reflects. The cause of this divergence was her growing affection for another man, who would become her husband of 32 years. Ron, her husband, recalls his initial disbelief upon learning of her past relationship with Holly. They told me she was Buddy Holly's girlfriend, and I couldn't believe it he says. One of Echo's few regrets is destroying the numerous love letters Holly sent her during her time in college. I thought it was the honorable thing to do at the time. I had no idea he would become famous, she laughs. But Holly wasn't the only legendary figure to vie for Echo's affection. Buddy once took me backstage to meet Elvis, who asked me for a kiss, but I turned him down, she recounts. Nowadays, Echo and her husband, Ron, reside in Carlsbad, New Mexico, where they engage in philanthropic work through their non-profit ministry. Echo continues to honor the legacy of a legend who captured her heart and transformed the landscape of music with his talent and passion. A Secret Affair Within the tapestry of Buddy Holly's life, woven with music and love, lies a thread of mystery surrounding whispers of a clandestine affair and the suggestion of a love child. While Holly's relationship with Echo Maguire stood as a testament to young love, the rumor mill churned with tales of a secret liaison that Holly supposedly engaged in. This rumored affair shrouded in whispers and never conclusively verified introduces an enigmatic layer to the narrative of Holly's life. The details of this supposed secret relationship remain elusive, with no concrete evidence to either confirm or dispel the rumors. However, the very existence of such stories contributes to the mystique surrounding Holly's personal life, casting a shadow of intrigue over the rock and roll icon's legend. The notion of a love child, in particular, adds a complex dimension to Holly's story, suggesting a private side of Holly's life that contrasts sharply with his public persona as a dedicated musician and partner. This rumored affair and its implications have become an integral element of the Holly legend, compelling fans and historians alike to ponder the possible truths hidden behind the public image of the rock and roll pioneer. While Holly's music resonates with audiences worldwide, these whispers of a secret affair invite speculation and curiosity, ensuring that Holly's personal story remains as captivating as the melodies he crafted. Maria Elena Santiago. Maria Elena Santiago's entrance into Buddy Holly's life unfolded with the cinematic sweep of a whirlwind romance reminiscent of the most passionate love stories. Their immediate connection, an undeniable force from their first encounter, quickly became a profound commitment. On their inaugural date, 
he proposed marriage in a move that mirrored the fervor and intensity inherent to Holly's character. This swift progression from meeting to engagement captures the essence of Holly's impulsive and passionate nature. Maria Elena's acceptance and their subsequent marriage symbolize not just a union of hearts, but also the profound impact of love on Holly's personal and professional life. Their story is a testament to the idea that true love knows no bounds of time, flourishing under the spontaneous decision that would forever entwine their destinies. The romance between Buddy Holly and Maria Elena Santiago remains a significant chapter in the rock and roll legend's life. Illustrating the depth of his emotions, and the capacity for love that paralleled the intensity he brought to his music. This chapter of Holly's life story adds a layer of emotional depth to his legacy, showcasing a man driven by his passion for music and a deep and abiding love. Tragedy and Heartbreak the tragic plane crash that claimed Buddy Holly's life on February 3, 1959, marked a moment of profound loss, not only for the music world, but also for his wife, Maria Elena Santiago. The catastrophe resonated far beyond the realm of rock and roll, touching the very core of personal grief and irrevocable loss. At the time of Holly's untimely death, Maria Elena was pregnant, and the shock and anguish from the news of the crash led to a miscarriage, adding a layer of profound sorrow to the tragedy. This devastating event brought an abrupt and heart-rending conclusion to their whirlwind romance, a love story that had blossomed with promise and passion. Maria Elena's loss underscored the profound personal impact of Holly's death, transforming her from a figure connected to musical legacy to a person grappling with immense personal grief. The shared dreams and future plans of Holly and Maria Elena were shattered instantly, leaving behind a legacy tinged with musical genius and poignant tragedy. The aftermath of the crash and its impact on Maria Elena highlight the human element behind the legend of Buddy Holly. It serves as a reminder of the fragility of life and the far-reaching consequences of loss extending beyond the individual to touch the lives of loved ones left behind. This chapter in Holly's story is a testament to the enduring strength of love amidst tragedy and the lasting heartbreak that follows untimely loss. Preserving the Legacy Following the tragic demise of Buddy Holly, Maria Elena Santiago embraced the custodian role for his profound legacy. Her unwavering commitment to safeguarding his musical contributions and their shared love story was pivotal in ensuring that Holly's influence endured within the annals of rock and roll history. Maria Elena's efforts to memorialize Holly transcended mere preservation. They served as a testament to their enduring bond and Holly's indelible impact on music and culture. Maria Elena worked diligently to keep Holly's spirit alive by establishing memorials, organizing tribute concerts, and carefully managing his musical catalog. Her endeavors allowed Holly's pioneering sound and the story of their love to continue resonating with audiences, bridging the gap between past and present. Her dedication ensured that Holly's legacy survived and flourished captivating new generations of fans and musicians inspired by his life and work. Maria Elena's role in preserving Holly's legacy highlights the power of love and dedication to transcend loss, ensuring that the magic of Holly's music and his contributions to the music world remain inspiring. Through her efforts, Buddy Holly continues to be celebrated as a beloved figure in rock and roll history. His songs a testament to the talent that left an indelible mark on the world. Buddy Holly's life was a vibrant mosaic of musical brilliance, personal quirks and deep emotional connections. His story goes beyond the music, revealing a man who lived passionately and loved deeply. As we close this chapter of Freaky Facts, History's Oddities, we remember Buddy Holly not just as a rock and roll icon, but as a man with a story as captivating as his songs. 
If you've enjoyed this deep dive into the life of Buddy Holly, please like, share and subscribe to Freaky Facts, History's Oddities. Do you have a historical figure whose hidden stories you'd like us to explore? Let us know in the comments below. Until next time, keep uncovering the oddities of history.